Years ago, a man came to me desperate for answers to the many questions he had regarding the recent mauling of his daughter by a large male dog they had both owned, loved, and had considered as a member of their family for over six years. His daughter was still in an intensive care unit at the time of his visit, but her doctors had already warned him that her injuries were so severe, a full recovery would never occur. Needless to say, he was devastated. But almost in a worse sense, he was lost. I still remember him sobbing and rocking back and forth as he sat across from me pleading for me to make sense out of what had happened. Over and over again he asked, why? Why would he have done that to her? And as I listened, he turned and stared at a picture I had of my own daughter that was sitting on my desk. For the longest time, he just sat there, staring at it. And while he did, I couldn't help but wonder what would happen to me if the girl in the picture was ever attacked and either killed or mauled by the dog that we owned at the time. I was thinking about that when I heard him whisper. It wasn't even over food for God's sake. He almost killed my little girl over a damn oven mitt. For me, such statements had become all too familiar. It was from his story and hundreds of others that I have listened to over the years that the inspiration for riding the hammer, why dogs attack us, and how to prevent it was born. In this book, I have done my best to explain why dogs attack us, and I've explained how to prevent them from doing so. My hope is that someday, we will no longer need to listen to stories like his, because we will learn how to interact with dogs in ways that no man, woman, or child will ever die or become seriously injured from the very real cause of canine aggression.